Good morning and welcome to Praise and Play. My name is Reverend Margaret and I'm the team rector in the East Greenwich team and I'm also the vicar at Christchurch and it's really great to have you with us today. The first thing we're going to do is to sing our welcome song. So are you all ready? Ready to welcome and to wave. Here we go. Welcome all to praise and play, praise and play, praise and play. Welcome all to praise and play on a Thursday morning. Wave hello to everyone, everyone, everyone. Wave hello to everyone on a Thursday morning. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. You're all properly welcomed and properly said hello to. And now we're going to light our praise and play candle. I've got a heart shaped candle today, so I'm going to get my lighting spill and I'm going to light the candle to remind us that Jesus promises that when we get together in his name, that he is always with us. And I'm going to keep the candle lit while we have our praise and play. So now we're going to think about today, when we're, we're thinking in our series at the moment, about the fruit of the Spirit, about all the lovely things that God brings in our life. And we're thinking particularly today about peace. So that's what our story will be about, and that's what our craft activity will be about. But first of all, we're going to sing our next song, Jump Up and Wave Your Arms and Shout Hooray. So are you ready to jump up? Do you want to crouch down small and get ready to jump up and wave your arms and shout hooray? Ready? Brilliant. And now we're going to hear our story. Today it's all about Jesus bringing us peace. So we're going to choose our pictures. So I'm going to go on to the next slide, see our picture and then I'm going to lose myself. So the sun was going down. The air was warm and still. Let's go across the lake, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus had been helping people all day and he was tired. So they left the crowds at the shore and set out in a small fishing boat. And Jesus lay down in the boat to take a nap and fell fast asleep. It was a beautiful evening and his friends chatted happily as they headed out into the middle of the lake. A lovely, nice quiet sail. But then they were only about halfway across when out of nowhere whirling winds swept across the lake, fierce and strong like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky. Thunder roared right overhead. The storm blew the water into towering waves that hurled the little boat up, up, up and then sent it hurtling, crashing back, down, down, down. The fishing boat was blown and buffeted and tossed and turned back and forth and up and down, left and right and round and round. And in the middle of the storm, Jesus was sleeping. They were really frightened. 
But if the storm wasn't too big for Jesus, help, Jesus' friends called. Wake up, quick, Jesus. Jesus opened his eyes. Rescue us, they shrieked. Look after us. And so Jesus stood up and spoke to the storm. Hush, he said. Peace. That's all. And the strangest thing happened. The wind and the waves recognised Jesus' voice. They'd heard it before, of course, because it was the same voice that made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and immediately the wind stopped. The water calmed down and it lapped quietly against the side of the boat as if nothing had happened. The little boat bobbed gently up and down. There was a deep stillness and a great peace all around. Jesus' friends had been so afraid they'd only seen the big waves. They'd forgotten that if Jesus was with them, if Jesus was in their boat, they had nothing to be afraid of. Because no matter how small their boat or how big the storm, Jesus brings peace. So we've heard a lovely story all about peace and we're now going to make a bit of a noise reminding ourselves that Jesus is alive. He's still alive today. He still brings us peace today because he died for us and he rose again for us so that he can still be with us and still bring us peace in our lives. So have you got an instrument or anything to make a noise with? Because this is the one where we normally hand round instruments and have a lot of fun as we sing one, two, three, Jesus is alive. Ready? Brilliant. Well done, everyone. And now we're going to say our special praise and play prayers. And we're going to start by praying for the world. So I'm going to invite you as we pray for the world to make a circle shape for the world and to think about the world in all the difficulty and, and sorrow and sadness at the moment because of the pandemic, because of people being ill and because of people fighting and because of people not respecting one another when they're different. And we say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And then we're going to pray for the church. So I'm going to say, put our hands together, praying hands for the church and pray for the church around the world, that the church will be able to welcome everyone and help everyone and show everyone the way to God. And we say, Jesus, 
hear our prayer. And then we're going to play for, pray for our place, Greenwich. We're going to put our hands around to show our local area and pray for all the people who live in our local area in Greenwich, all the people that we care about, our friends, and pray that everyone has all that they need, particularly at this difficult time. Jesus, hear our prayer. And now we do some tears to say we pray for the sick, for the sad and for the lonely. We pray for those especially who are worried, who still can't see family and friends. Jesus, hear our prayer. And we put our arms around ourselves to pray for our friends and family, the people that we live with, the people that we love and the people we can't see at the moment. And we say, Jesus, hear our prayer. And we put our hands on our heart and pray for ourselves, for all that we need, for our happy bits and for our sad bits. Jesus, hear our prayer. And let's just close our eyes for a moment and think of there's someone special that we want to pray for today. Let's imagine that person now and bring them before Jesus, saying, Jesus, hear our prayer. So we bring all these prayers to Jesus and say together, Amen. Okay. We're going to sing our song, Praise to You, My Jesus. And this is a bit of a quieter, more reflective song. We're going to use our hand signs as we sing it. I don't know about you, but when I sing that song, it makes me feel that sense of Jesus's peace in my heart. And our craft activity today is going to remind us about that story about when you have Jesus in the boat, it brings you peace. So here we go with our craft activity today, making a boat. So we're going to make a boat using a paper plate. And the first thing you do is fold your paper plate in half so you've got a line through it and then you just need to cut the paper plate in half to make the two halves of your boat and then you put them face together and um, cut a centimetre or two across the bottom parallel with the top that you've got the two sides of your boat and the bottom. Now the way that you hold the ends together is just very simple. If you've got a stapler, just staple along the curve 
like that. Or if you don't have a stapler, you could always use glue, but it's very easy with a stapler. And then to make the shape of the boat, you just use um, a toilet roll stuck inside and that gives the shape of the boat and it, and it sits up nicely. So I'm going to um, paint my boat. I've got some um, blue paint here and uh, I'm just going to uh, paint it blue. You could use crayon or um, felt tip or whatever you have to hand. In fact, I've got one here that I painted a bit earlier. So um, anyway, take some time to paint it. You can paint it on the inside and paint it on both sides. And then you um, um, put your toilet roll in to um, give it a nice boat shape um, like this. And you want a sail for your boat so that it can sail along in the wind. And you can make a sail just with an ordinary bit of white um, copier paper um, I'm going to use a, um, it's a, a, actually a sticks and sushi um, disposable chopstick, but you could use a kebab stick or a lolly stick or any stick that you, you find around. If you take your paper and just fold across the um, um, corner to make a triangle shape and then cut off your triangle like that. and then um, fold the triangle in half, you get a nice sail shape, which you can then put around your chopstick in my case. And again, you can use a stapler or glue. And I think I'm going to use glue here. So I think I'll get a nicer uh, finish. And I'm just going to uh, glue one half of the sail and uh, stick it together round the chopstick to uh, so that it's all in one place. So there we go. Um, I've made a sail and because my boat's still a bit wet from blue paint, I'm going to write the name of my boat here and I'm going to call my boat Peace because we've been hearing the story about when Jesus is in your boat um, he calms the storm and brings peace and I'm going to think about my boat having Jesus in it. So in order to get the sail, get your um, toilet roll and you need to make a hole at, uh, in one end of the toilet roll which your uh, sail can um, poke into to remain upright. So you just need a little bit of a hole there. So I'm going to put that back inside my boat and I'm going to put my, um, place my sail in there, put it around like that, so that I've got my lovely sailing boat called Peace. So I hope you have fun making a sailing boat yourself. You can call it Peace or something else, but whatever you make it, just rem help, let it help you to remember that when Jesus is in your boat, when Jesus is part of your life, he brings peace. And that is one of the fruit of the Spirit. We're going to say together the grace at the end of our praise and play. So are you ready? And we say the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And we're going to blow out our praise and play candle. And I'm going to remind you that praise and play is on again next week at 10 o'clock. It's on Facebook or on YouTube. And we hope you'll join us again for praise and play. Have a really good week. Goodbye.